he has another minute or two on finishing the wheels, I thought I'd go ahead and show you the engine. This is a Continental O300. It is a six cylinder, one, two, three, four, five, six, horizontally opposed, naturally aspirated engine. Down below here, this is where the air goes in through this filter, through the carburetor and then sucks up into the bottom. This is the oil pan right here and uh, goes into the engine, makes the combustion that comes out the sides. Here's the right stack of three exhausts on the right side. The exhaust goes down here, but we also get ram air from the engine going through this orange tube or across this muffler right here. And that gives us heat for uh, cabin heat. And it can also, on the other side, it has the same thing that gives us heat for carb heat in case uh, we ice up our engine. Uh, up top here, this is the starter motor for the engine. This is the vacuum pump for the instruments. The two magnetos, here's one, there's an additional one on the opposite side. And then down there, it's hard to see, but it's blue. That is the alternator. These three metal tubes right here are for the primer, priming fuel to the engine when you're starting it. And then um, that up here that says Jaskawana is the voltage regulator for the alternator. And then down here we have a fuel gas regulator so that whenever the fuel goes into the engine, it will go down here first. Any water will stay at the bottom. And I have a little cable I can pull in the cockpit to release uh, the fuel in here and clean out any water or, dirt or sediment. Uh, and then back there is the um, the, the shock strut for the nose wheel. And then all these black bars all in the area. These are uh, steel, um, welded steel engine mount holdings. So that's the engine. This is the baffling right here. What you want is the air to come inside and it stops right here and starts forcing it down. The air goes past these fins on here, heating the air up as hot as possible, taking the heat away from the engine and pushing it down and out at the bottom. So it's a smart, simple design. Uh, it's a fixed pitch propeller, just a, a very, very rugged, uh, very um, good quality uh, design. And uh, here is the engine breather tube, so that way uh, any additional uh, pressure coming off the cylinders will be escaping through this tube down to the bottom. That way you don't blow your crankcase apart. And um, uh, this being an aircraft engine has two spark plugs, one on one side and one on the opposite side down here so you have redundancies in your systems. Well great, I'll show you more later. Also here's the battery box, the oil fill, and the oil dipstick. Here's the oil filter down below. And here's the left side of the engine. Right now it's attached to a cherry picker, taking the weight off of the front so that way we can get to the wheel. We took the front wheel off and now he's working on that. And um, it's resting on that wood block and then we'll pump it back up, put the wheel on, and then we'll basically be done with the annual.